Hello there. This week's 10-day trend is a fairly simple one as the weather's not really going to change too much. But it's also fairly tricky as the day-to-day -day detail can often change and this leads to some difficult forecasting. I'll explain in a moment but the reason why the weather's not really changing too much, yep you've guessed it, is all due to high pressure. At first sitting out to the west and slowly edging its way eastwards through the course of the week and into the weekend where it becomes mostly straddled across the UK bringing mostly dry settled conditions. A very different weekend if you compare it to last weekend when of course we had Storm Amy moving its way through. So mostly dry, settled, a mix of cloud and also some sunny spells. High pressure will continue to push its way eastwards as we head through into next week. But as it does so, of course, we follow our winds around in a clockwise direction around areas of high pressure. So we do start to see a bit of a change in our wind direction as we head into next week. And this can have a knock-on effect across our weather. It depends where our wind is coming from as to where we see the most cloud, where we could see breaks in the cloud. And of course, where we see breaks in the cloud, light winds, we could see some mist fog, possibly even some frost into next week. Now before I get onto those details, I just want to reverse the clock back and of course talk about tomorrow, where for some it could be a little bit of a chilly start, particularly across the south where we see more breaks in the cloud. Elsewhere, quite a grey, gloomy start, plenty of cloud in the skies. This cloud will be thick enough to produce some drizzle, particularly across Northern Ireland, southwestern parts of Scotland, also northwest England. So some drizzly outbreaks at times, mostly across hilly areas. Elsewhere, though, it should be mostly dry. We'll see a mix of clouds, some brighter interludes at times, around average temperatures, 18 to 19 degrees Celsius. So when we do see any sunnier spells, it should still feel rather pleasant. Now the cloud and drizzle will linger for some, particularly across western Scotland. We've still got that constant feed coming in from the west. So once again, quite a damp start as we head our way into Wednesday here. Across Northern Ireland, northern parts of England, possibly parts of Wales as well. Once again, a fair amount of cloud. This could be thick enough to produce some drizzle overnight. But elsewhere, once again, we'll see a mix of clouds, some clearer spells, particularly in the east. And where we see any prolonged clear skies, that's where we could potentially see some mist and fog by the time we reach the morning. So for most quite a grey start with plenty of cloud around that means temperatures won't drop too low so a fairly mild start for the end of the week. So cloudy, grey, we'll also see some drizzle continuing particularly across western Scotland but it will be an improving picture, we'll eventually see more breaks in that cloud particularly as we head our way towards the afternoon, perhaps less so across the south, those cloudy skies may remain through much of the day, also across the northern isles, fairly thick cloud producing some drizzle at times. Similar temperatures, highs reaching around 18 to 19 degrees Celsius. Now as we head through into the evening, once again there are going to be a fair amount of clear skies, so as soon as that sun dips away it's going to turn chilly. Once again we could possibly see even some mist and fog by the morning. And we are going to start to see that sunlight dip away fairly quickly through the course of October, less so in parts of the south, though by the time we finish off October we'll see around two hours less of sunlight. A bit more across northern areas, around two hours 30 to 40 minutes across parts of Scotland. So those nights are going to draw in and if we see clear skies that is where temperatures are soon going to dip away. And we'll see a fair amount of clear skies as we head towards the weekend. As a reminder we've got that high pressure once again shifting its way eastward so it will be dry, settled, there'll be a mix of cloud and also some clear skies. So through the course of the morning we could see some mist and fog but it should clear away fairly quickly. And actually Saturday is going to be quite a pleasant day for the weekend. There will be some cloudy areas but more of a chance of some brighter sunny spells northern parts of Scotland though once again a fair amount of cloud here and we could see some drizzle at times but for the bulk of the country it's going to be a nice start to the weekend. Temperatures not really changing either, highs of around 17 to 18 degrees Celsius but even eastern Scotland should catch a fair amount of sunshine feeling pleasant here too. Now over the weekend there is going to be some mist and fog to start. It's a little bit tricky to say where exactly they'll be because it all depends on where we see those breaks in the cloud through the overnight period. But if we take a look at our, um, our ensemble model from here at the Met Office we can see where there's a slightly higher chance of seeing that fog during the morning. Some quite thick fog. This is visibility lower than 200 metres. So we can see some areas that have been pointed out. So western and central areas of Scotland, parts of Wales and also parts of the southwest. So this is likely where we'll see the thickest fog as we head through into Saturday. But do keep an eye on the forecast for that one as this may change. 
Now let's flip over to Sunday, where we can see a few more of these slightly darker orange colours. So, well, we'll see the slightly higher probability of seeing some fog during the morning. Similar areas are being picked out, western parts of Scotland, also Wales, parts of Shropshire, also Gloucestershire, but also Northern Ireland and parts of Yorkshire. So pretty much anywhere, to be honest, could catch some fog during the morning, particularly if we see those clear skies stick around through the course of Saturday night into Sunday. But these areas at the moment is where we're seeing the highest probability that we could potentially see some travel disruption as a result of this fog. But it's still a few days away. It's quite early during the Sunday morning, so not many people will be awake. And the sun is strong enough now to clear away that fog fairly quickly. So there could be some poorer visibility during the early hours of Sunday. Any low cloud should lift and break fairly quickly through the course of the morning. And Sunday will probably be fairly similar to Saturday. Mix of clouds, sunny spells, a slight drop in temperatures, highs reaching around 15 to 16 degrees Celsius, but still more or less around average for the time of year. Now, how about as we head into next week? Well, if we take a look at our probability pro plot in terms of pressure, we can see it's very dominated by these reds and dark red colours. So high pressure very much dominating our weather through the next 10 days and even beyond. Now, as I said earlier, it really depends whereabouts that high pressure is going to sit because it really makes a big impact in terms of our wind direction and this in turn has an impact on our weather, so where we could see the bulk of the cloud. Now, Wednesday into next week, most models are showing that high pressure will be situated off to the east, and this gives a bit more of an east-southeasterly direction, but this high pressure would only need to be slightly shifted further south for more of a southeasterly wind direction. And that means if we follow the source of our winds, it will have more of a land track rather than a sea track. So if we have a more easterly wind direction, we'll pick up moisture from the North Sea. This will drag in plenty of cloud, particularly across eastern areas of Scotland, whereas the west could see a few more breaks. However, this high pressure, if it's sat slightly further south and we see more of that south to southeasterly wind flow, we get more of a land track, so that air will tend to dry out more. Drier air means less moisture to form cloud, and so we'll see a few more sunnier spells by the time we get to Wednesday. So a chance that actually, although the beginning of the week it will be dry, there will be a fair amount of cloud around, some mist and fog during the morning, Wednesday, if we see that slightly drier air mass, more of a chance of a bit more sunshine. Nevertheless, though, it's going to be remaining dry, average temperatures, so feeling fairly similar to what we'll see over the weekend. And in terms of forecast confident, well, we're fit confidence. We're fairly confident for the first couple of weeks of October that high pressure is going to remain the dominant force. But notice as we head to around Monday the 20th of October, a bit further than the 10 days. But notice as we get to that period, our forecast confidence lowers slightly. And that's because we could start to see a slight change from the west, high pressure drifting to the east, allowing more frontal systems to push in from the west. Here's our European model, which we run over and over a few times, slightly changing those initial conditions each time. And quite a few are starting to show some rain pushing in from the west. Let's focus in on a few of them. So number one, for example, this is precipitation over a 24-hour period. This is Sunday next weekend. So notice that it's starting to push in some rain from the west across member one. Member two is starting to push in quite a lot of rain from parts of the south and southwest. Also member three, starting quite a lot showing quite a lot of rain actually pushing in from the west. So there is going to eventually be that breakdown with frontal systems pushing in as that high pressure eases away. Obviously that's still a fair amount of time away and for the time being over the next 10 days high pressure is the dominant force. So dry, settled, some mist and fog during the morning and possibly even some frost.